Hi everybody, I'm Terry Stiles and we are back at the Oxford Township offices sitting with Jack Curtis. Our, I always want to say it's our every other month thing, but we can never get our dates together. So it's been about two months since I was here last, but Jack, I know you've got a lot to say and I have quite a few questions. Do you want to go first? Um, well, why don't you start first, Terry, okay. with your question. So what's going on in the township? My main concern is the master plan. I know you've got that survey out there. We've put up a PSA trying to encourage people to put that out. Are you getting responses, number one? First off, the uh, responses are not overwhelming, okay. but they're double what Should we had be. in the 2019 master oh, plan okay. rewrite, or 2018 is when it started. Uh, I believe right now there's upwards of 500, uh -huh. but we don't. We are uh, extending the deadline to March 15th, and I know the chamber has put it on their website. It's on our website. We've gone around to the local churches. We've gone around to uh, areas asking them. It's on our social media page. It gets a lot of exposure there. Yes, it does. Take the survey. It just takes a minute. Gosh, and I don't think people realize how darned important it is to have that kind of input. And so maybe if we talk about the master plan and what's what you need to look at in that master plan, that might make them go, oh gosh, we could probably contribute to that. <laughs> you it know, just drives it, me crazy. You're exactly right. What What is in that master plan so determine the questions aren't outright what what do you want to see for a sewer plan mm -hmm. but the questions in there lead you to tell us what should be done with the sewers what should be done with the safety path the planning commission develops a safety path mm -hmm. plan well do, do you want to put safety paths everywhere doing that you have to understand the ramifications with the developer do you want safety paths on delano road that are paved no you don't want them there because there's a different shoe for the horse. The, yes. the polyand trail is gravel, and they shoe horses for gravel riding, grass riding, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Well, you can't put asphalt all through horse country, so yeah. you, you have, have to, to be, be careful. careful. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the cost. The cost to put a safety path in, that's a lot of money. You're talking sure for a half a point. mile of safety path upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. So. Um, it's the master plan has got a lot of information gathering from the people mm -hmm. that live in the community. The build out plan, we're, we're doing a build, build out, out plan. plan. Mm -hmm. What is zoned in our community? How many residents, commercial, industrial, can you put in there if we were all in developed? Mm -hmm. And you know, the, the only thing you can do to stop development or or develop correctly if you will right. is adhere to the zoning which is more important developing correctly developing yeah. correctly is <laughs> is more important for future <laughs> land use for future Agreed. people coming to oxford i have i have great analogy you know uh people say oh you know what we don't want any more growth we don't want any more growth well mm -hmm. who let you in yeah right who let me in yeah Right. And, you know, I've said this over and over again. Uh, even my kids go, uh, you know, what year did you come to Oxford? Well, 1972. Yeah. Okay. Everybody after that that came in, I let them in. Mm -hmm. And everybody after them, let them in. Mm -hmm. The right. key important part is we have a lot of old farms. We're not touching anything in our northeast, our mm -hmm. northwest. We have areas that are already sewered. We have areas that are zoned for development. Mm -hmm. How do you stop somebody from doing what's mm -hmm. legally theirs to do? Especially if a precedent has already been set. I know a lot of people are complaining about the, um, what are they called, the, the pot facilities. the Oh, the marijuana, um, uh, yeah. cannabis retail shops. Right, right, retails. People are complaining about that. They should have been here prior to that precedent being set. And this is their opportunity to give you that information, what they want and what they don't want. Sure. And what we heard from the people that came that time, on those facilities, yeah. you got to remember, there's two local units of government here. Yes. There's a village mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. and there's a township government. Right. What we did in the township for the cannabis dispensaries if you will we took a, a poll of the people and said do mm -hmm. we want to just do a free-for-all no yeah. we have 36 square miles what do we want to do we have we've limited we were going to limit it at five 
We now limited it three. Good. And before we said they could open, they invested millions of dollars in their buildings, which are all brand new buildings or remodeled, mm -hmm, right. uh, heavy remodeled mm -hmm. uh, buildings and structures. Mm -hmm. They've improved their traffic with MDOT. Uh, they've looked at our right. sewer and our water and they've improved that. There's compu community benefits that we uh, challenge them with to get a license here to sell. We have the increase in property tax. We also have the state excise tax that we get paid back on. Mm -hmm. But we didn't go all out and full bore and put one on right. every corner. There's three mm -hmm. in the township. Mm -hmm. um, and those three were done on blighted properties. Those three invested millions of dollars mm -hmm. in each of their buildings. Those three have presented this community with over a couple hundred thousand dollars for community benefits. The one on the north at 280, mm -hmm. their uh, community benefit was they bought a piece of property from the fire department and they're donating oh, $100,000. Right. Mm -hmm. That money is going to be used to build a fire training tower. Nice. So this mm -hmm. just didn't come in and say, hey, I want to do this. <laughs> no, we kept them a couple thousand feet apart. We kept them on distressed properties. We made them invest in the community. Also, when you do have a business come into the community, um, do, do you tie them into helping increase our um, safety paths? Oh, any time uh, a business comes to town, if there's not a safety path in front of their place, it's going That's in. That's part of it. Tractor Supply, uh, all the way up Oxford Bank, the McLaren Building, all that corridor there was mm -hmm. put in by those businesses. Nice. You know, that completed, well, with the help of our C sure. CJ, the grants writer, sure. you know, that's a five-mile mm -hmm. loop around there. Yeah. You tie that into the pocket park, you got a nice little community. Yeah, and I see people on that, on the entire all the trail all the time. We're going to put a drinking fountain out there this year oh, because nice. we've had 20 people ask us, where's the water faucet? Where can we oh. use the water? Can we use... And well, they take their dog, and their dog needs some water, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're working on the master plan to take all these finite things into consideration through general questions. Just don't want to say to people, mm -hmm. well, do you want us to put in safety pass? We yeah. get a yes. Yeah. Well, do you want walkability to the village? Yes. What about Seymour Lake Park? Yes. So we, mm -hmm. we, we look at that. Right. We look at roads, you know, is there enough paved roads? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's all those questions in there. March 15th, please submit the survey and we'll take your take your input. And then what what's your time frame after that? It's a long process. Yes, it's it right now, it's a steering committee mm -hmm. that is working from members all around our community. We have some from the north, every quadrant mm -hmm. in our community, there's a member from it. There are business people, there are farmers, there's uh, plant engineers, there's, uh, Water, yeah. there's teachers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of people in there that are common citizens to Oxford. That care. That, have that been care. There. Yeah, you're not just hiring engineers that don't right. live here. So once that process, you go through that process, take me through to the end of, that has to be submitted to the state. Correct. It, it goes to the planning commission. Mm -hmm. They bless it. It comes to the township board for the first reading, and they we okay. say okay. Mm -hmm. Then there are regulations by the state. It has to go to our neighboring communities oh, for the okay. impact from the neighboring communities. Mm -hmm. Then it comes back to the township board. If there's no tweaks or changes in it, if Orion says, hey, we don't want... Uh, this zoned uh, tire remanufacturing right next door to yeah. this residence. Well, you have mm -hmm. to consider Adjust that. that. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the state. Okay. So that's a long process. It is. We don't expect this to be done until sometime near November. Do you have a that. deadline? Um, I'd is... have to get the timeline from mm -hmm. our planner. Uh, I've the, Right now, the gears are turning with mm -hmm. the steering committee and the planning commission, I stay out of it just so that they can do their mm -hmm. job yeah. from the people. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Yeah. And that you do that every so many years, it, correct? By law, I believe it's five years okay. you have to do it yeah. or at least start it, Update it. within yeah. the fifth year, yes. Anything that we're looking forward to? Any kind of 
fun stuff coming into the community? Ooh, fun stuff coming into the community. Um, you I, know, your eyes on Facebook. I'm always on Facebook, and I, I see people saying, "We need a White Castle. We need the um, Taco Bell," which we did get, which is really nice. Yeah. But yeah. anything that people are asking for, or what kind of developments happening? Most of, most of the developments right now are uh, confidentiality because their plans are at the attorneys, their plans are... Oh, baby plans they, right now, yeah. Right, okay. right. So mm -hmm. they haven't submitted for um, for us to be open in the public oh, okay. with it yet. Uh, we had we have one that's coming, uh, the PUD on, uh, on okay. Drainer Road. Mm -hmm. It's a mixed living, you know, it's mm -hmm. got $500,000 homes down to uh, uh, slab on grade condos for dual mm -hmm. living units that... Nice. Uh, Heck yeah. I mean, I'd like to have one of those and have yeah. my kids live in the houses. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't have to mow my grass You don't have anymore. to cut the grass or exactly. shovel the sidewalks. And some of yeah. the things that are, are, are enhanced with that is um, it's in the area that's zoned for that. And it's going to be easier for the developer to come and do that, but it will enhance that corridor. Is that uh, um, on the, the the east side of Drainer, east of 24? It's east of 24, north of Drainer. It starts at Glassby Street and runs oh, all yeah, the way down true. to Camp Oakland. Yeah. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a couple lakes in there. Mm -hmm. There is four homes right on Drainer that it'll be behind. So they're taking into consideration all that and working with Camp Oakland and... So the south side of Drainer or south and north side of Drainer, is it going to be by no, it's the active north, Camp north Oakland? No, it's the north side of Drainer. Oh, north side, okay. Yes. All right. And is, is there a time frame for that? Or the, the PUD is in the works. The you have the first hearing for it, right? It was supposed to come to the Planning Commission. It will be there December 15th. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, February. Oh, February. <laughs> I forget what month this oh, is. Oh, it's still cold. <laughs> it just goes fast. Um, uh, February fifteenth, the developer okay. will have their plans, and they'll come. Uh, you know, they're here and available in the township. Once they submit it, it's public, and mm -hmm. you know we don't try to hide them. But people, yeah. they, people don't usually come in and look uh, at them know. until after the trees are mm -hmm. cut down. Yeah, right. What's the process for that? For, for the PUD, for approving a PUD. PUD uh, goes through all of uh, the attorneys, our engineer, uh, the planners. Uh, it, it's looked at from the infrastructure it's going to use. A PUD is a planned unit development. A planned unit development means uh, if you have 100 acres and you could put one house on one acre, maybe they cluster their homes and mm -hmm. build a park. Mm -hmm. The benefit to the community is uh, open space. The green space. The community, right. Yeah, the green space. Yeah. They can enhance an area uh, by clustering homes mm -hmm. or making, you can't put multi-family uh, homes on the same Sidwell as single family. Oh, right. However, mm -hmm. if you show benefit of we're not going to do this many and we're going to do some of these and give you the green space, it's a benefit to the community. Sure, right. Yes. Well, that's exciting. That's good stuff yeah. coming up. Let me look yeah. at my list now. Okay. Um, so we, I, we talked about the public hearing, the master plan. Um, so uh, just on a side note, what's coming up? Uh, spring is coming up. We're looking forward to spring. Do you have any road plans, any plans for the roads? Or let's talk about those dirt roads. The, oh, sure. The most uncontroversial topic in the world, right? <laughs> However, I must say, I do some driving in, like, in another community and driving on dirt roads around here, and I'm always so pleased to drive around Oxford dirt roads because they just seem to be maintained really well. And you keep saying you don't take responsibility for that, or Oxford doesn't, but I think you do as the township supervisor. Well, you're, you're right. We, we do not own a road. Uh -huh. We share tripartite funds that are given from the state mm -hmm. to the road commission. They give them to us. We can match by law our monies oh. with mm -hmm. the tripartite monies, meaning tripartite, mm -hmm. county, local municipality, and state. And state. Mm -hmm. So those tripartite funds go together. Mm -hmm. Currently in Oxford, we have over 40 miles of dirt road. Unbelievable. 
and on 40 miles of dirt road, we can have roughly 15,000 people mm -hmm. traveling a day. Mm -hmm. And 15,000 people can tell you a road, a section that they don't like to drive on. Sure, of course. Now you have Oakwood Road, all the parents taking their children mm -hmm. out to uh, Kingsbury School. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they drive Oakwood every day. Yeah. But Oakwood Road was built almost a hundred and some years ago yes. <laughs> over a swamp and it pumps it does when it thaws yeah. and freezes it goes it's up and down, down. Right. and then it turns into mud and then it separates and then you have big potholes mm -hmm. so you know we work on things like that we dug a section up and poured gravel in there which we can only do because otherwise once you start mm -hmm. putting concrete or blacktop on a road mm -hmm. That involves a whole engineering process and gets it out of the rural road. Moves the water around and everything Exactly. Else. Yeah. So us not owning a road, mm -hmm. we have to pay attention to what the road commission is. Mm -hmm. Fortunately for Oxford, we have a very good friend in our superintendent who's mm -hmm. in Lake Orion and our day-to-day -day foreman. Mm -hmm. I contact him any time of the day or night, and he's very responsive to Oxford. Mm -hmm. We had a flood on uh, Oxford Road mm. right by the entrance to the high oh, school yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about it at 6 in the morning at 630 they had the signs up telling everybody water over the road and until Beautiful. we could get somebody there with a pump and pump it out we had two retention pot retention basins they were frozen solid yeah so right. I mean how do you blame There's somebody only so for much that? you can do right, right I know so by the time we got the pumps out there and got it all pumped down we had it pumped down in time for school to be exiting on Friday. Mm -hmm. Did we have school on Friday? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's all of the things that we yeah. have this yeah. uh, close communication and network with that get us the things we need. Well, and you're right on it. Last Thank year, you. we put down $300,000 of gravel. Wow. We graveled Granger Road. We mm -hmm. graveled some of Coates Road. We mm -hmm. graveled some okay. of Saunders Road. We mm -hmm. graveled some of Hummer Lake Road. Uh, currently right now, oh, and we're doing um, canopy clearing right now. Oh, canopy clearing mm -hmm, is mm -hmm, removing mm -hmm. some of the trees mm -hmm. that hang over the road. You know those beautiful creatures yeah, that hang over the road? <laughs> yeah, but in the summer they shade mm -hmm. those roads mm -hmm. and the water doesn't dissipate right. on it. And then the next thing you know, you get cars running up and down it. It pushes the gravel right off the road. Yeah, right. And then the guys Everything come and grade the gravel back yeah. on and they dig a ditch in front of your home. So it's not like we're purposely or intentionally not taking care of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Each factor in it causes another I issue and sure. situation. Right. It's always been like that. But yeah. we, um, we are this year, I just got the number. It's 131000 from the county. So we'll match that. Good. And we uh, sit down and look at all the complaints that we have registered through the Road Commission of Oak Glen County, Department of Customer Service. Every call I have, I register it in a little pad and I say, okay, Colin, here's the roads that I'm getting. What are you getting? And uh, we sit down and say, you know what? You're right. This road hasn't had gravel in 30 years. Well, we're going to do some of that. And is there also the, um, whatever that, oh, the oil, do you put the oil? Chloride. Do they do the chloride? I can't the, use oil. Oh, that's that, true. Now we're dating It was when ourselves. I was younger. Yes. <laughs> I can remember having black feet going down to the beach. <laughs> oh, exactly. You know, they used to dump 10W30 yeah. from the oil yeah. changes on the roads. <laughs> God forbid you do that now, even yeah, spill no, some. Yeah, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> but uh, even, even that's an issue. Uh, the chloriding of the roads is... Uh, Eagle, the Environmental Great Lakes mm, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Authority, mm -hmm. uh, they they were trying to put real stringent uh, right. application wow. restrictions on us. So mm. we started to adhere to it, and then all of a sudden it went away. We went back to Oxford Township does five applications of chloride okay. through the year. Mm. Now every road engineer that lives in Oxford can tell you, oh, you did it at the wrong time. Oh, you didn't do enough. Oh, you didn't do my road. Well, you know what? We're going to get to it when they get to mm -hmm. it. They, they have limited funds to work on their road. Well, and don't you have to work with the Oakland County schedule as well? We are one so township out of 17. if you wanted it in May, 17. you might be lucky to get it in June or July, right? We share a road grader with right. Addison Township, yeah. Brandon Township, mm -hmm. and Orion Township. Yeah. Right. So now you have four townships mm -hmm. 
We have 40 miles of road. I believe Bruce and uh, Jason, yeah. uh, Brandon and Addison yeah. have yeah. just about the same amount. Yeah. Right. So you have one guy out there yeah. grading it, and it's uh, it, it's it's a time-consuming and money pit. And to yeah. this fact, um, we don't pay taxes. I was just going to say, now we let's explain the tax thing as far as... fix our roads yeah. through our home property taxes. Good. Yeah, good to know. All monies allocated to the Road Commission of Oakland County are divvied out by the state from the gas tax. So, you take gas tax and you give it to Oakland County. Well, what about Southfield? Southfield. What about oh uh, Ferndale? Wow. What about Royal mm -hmm. Oak? What about Warren? Or, I'm sorry, um, Troy? Yeah. Uh, and going north Brandon. into Oakland County. Yeah, Birmingham. Yeah. All those roads are Oakland County roads. Yeah. And if the city doesn't take care of them, and they're Oakland County roads, we're fighting for those funds. How does that get split up? How, d does that it depend is, on how many people are in the community? No, it's based on uh, the uh, road commission is by name a commission. They have mm -hmm. road commissioners. Right. The commissioners look at all the budget. They look at all the projects. Right. They look at all the people. They, they look decide. at the traffic volumes. Number one thing they look at is safety. Uh, mm -hmm. if you right. if you have something that's unsafe they look at it higher um, okay. and that gives it points if you will so Lowell Oxford with you know a few hundred people on this and road a huge amount of it's not safety like somebody issues. on 12 mile road screaming yeah. Yeah. that they can't turn right. left for 14 minutes yeah. at uh, Main Street going right. into Royal Oak right. so we have to fight with them so, diligently we have a strategic planning meeting with the township, with the township and the road commission. Last year it was held in uh, March here mm -hmm. in the township. They're going to schedule them this year. Mm -hmm. They come out and talk to us, nice. talk about our needs, and we put our questions and what we need in there. And so when people call you and complain, you can tell them to call the road commission. You know, I can do that, but I'm empathetic about it. I, <laughs> I know you are. You I, live out here. <laughs> I, I live here, right? Yeah. I, 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 I see these people in town. I go into restaurants. I yes, go into businesses. Exactly. And I see these people mm -hmm. that are calling me, telling me the road's bad. Well, it is bad. Mm -hmm. So I build a relationship with the road mm -hmm. commission. And you know what? Once in a while, well, this guy's going home that way. We'll go by and touch that up. Nice. So, mm -hmm. you know, it works mm -hmm. better that mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of sharing with other communities. Yeah, right. People don't realize that. And, and of course, you're thinking mostly about your own community and you want it better in your own community. Granted, so. everybody pays a, a, an assessed value of ta a tax is based on the assessed value of your home, assessed values yes. of businesses, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. churches, hospitals schools don't pay taxes right. but everybody else who does it all goes into a big pot mm -hmm. and I, I present to you hopefully you can get this up on the screen yes, we will. is my infamous pie chart which this is for the 2023 taxing rate mm -hmm. because the taxes just went out and i've gotten some calls so you know how come you can't fix our road because you don't uh we, you know we pay all these taxes well there's no tax in here going to your road, road. Yeah. okay and there's no tax, half of these, oh, more than half of these taxes don't even go to Oxford Township. As you can see, the Oxford Township operating millage is 0.88. <laughs> Has gone down every Backwards. year since inception. Yeah. We have never raised the taxes in Oxford Township. The millages only go back up to mm. where they were because we have been frugal with right. our money supporting what we have millages for. However, in our growth period, you're going to have to look at what you charge the people for the Oxford Township, ALS, EMS. Those firefighters have been mm -hmm. working their mm -hmm. uh, tails off in this wonderful yes. weather. You had two children go in Clear in Lake water. last uh, mm -hmm. last week. We had a one house yes fire last week. night. Um, yeah. A pedestrian was walking through one of our safety paths and saw a house burning and yeah. they brought in the three companies to fight that fire. And they're helping other communities. They are helping in other Lake communities. Lake Orion last week, wasn't it? Yeah. And even uh, two weeks ago on my street, uh, a garage oh, burned yeah, and right. yeah. yeah, it burned down. And uh, 
Yeah, yeah they've been busy. That's an unusual they have been um, very busy. amount of calls for them in such but, a short period of time. But Chief Majestic and his crew, They're doing uh, good. men and women are doing an excellent mm -hmm. job with what they have. Mm -hmm. We're operating with fire trucks that are 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Ambulances that drive down some of these sure. terrible dirt roads yeah. over 100,000 miles on them. Well, they're expected to go high mm -hmm. speed to take someone to a hospital. Mm -hmm. and, uh, on you icy can't, roads. <laughs> on icy roads. Mm -hmm. And you can't have unsafe vehicles. So we got to look at those kind of things for our millages. Sure. But Oxford Township residents, if they understood where their taxes went to, and I can read a few of them, and you can go put on on the page here, mm -hmm. Oakland County Art Institute, the DIA, yeah. Detroit Zoo. Yeah. How about the Huron-Clinton Metro Parks? Um, we have <laughs> the Oakland County Parks and Rec along where we have a, a portion for our parks, yeah. But it's huge. Yeah. Then you go to, uh, people don't know this, the Oakland County operating expense. Your home is taxed and they yeah. pay for the people who work in Oakland County. Right. You have the Oakland Community Schools. You have the uh, Oakland Intermediate Schools. So you have yeah. a pie of this that goes to the Oxford Schools, but it's nowhere near what goes to the state education tax. Unbelievable. So all of the taxes, when people say, all we pay taxes and my roads are terrible. Mm -hmm. First off, none of your taxes go mm -hmm. to the roads. Second off, your taxes are spent where they're allocated to by fund, by millage. They cannot take any money from that state uh, educational no, fund right. and spend it on a new ambulance. Right, right, right. So, you know, I'm going to give you this, put it on there. And yes, we will. You can see that it's labeled out where these taxes are going. Yeah. And out of the piece of pie... We're not getting much here in no, Oxford. Right. And, and I'm so impressed with how the township, the, how they guard the, their funds. They're really fiscally responsible. You have seven trustees, of which mm -hmm. I am one. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm classified as, even though I'm a supervisor, I'm classified as a trustee as well. in the board meeting. Mm -hmm. I run the meeting, but I have mm -hmm. one vote. Mm -hmm. Okay, Our vote to spend the township's money is voted on by seven people mm -hmm. that the people voted in there. Mm -hmm. Fiscally responsible. Their main job, according to the Michigan Townships Association, their main job is the fiduciary responsibility right. of the township. And right now, our fund balances are fine. Our audits have always come back mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. We do have funds, but they're allocated to things. Mm -hmm. We can't take money from this fund and right. give it to something else. Yep. It's voted on. We can't take money from this fund and give it to something else. Mm -hmm. It may be against the law. Mm -hmm. You can't take a parks and rec fund and say, oh, I'm going to do this over here. The, roads. the only yeah. one that can do that is the DDA capture. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only one. Yes. Their district of the downtown development can capture the taxes that Oxford pays in operating in parks and rec in library for two years and our fire and it captures them for the DDA. That's minuscule compared to what we bring into the township mm -hmm. to provide the services we do for those mm -hmm. millages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So while we're talking about funds, a meeting that I was at, either the last meeting or the meeting before, you, allo you, have, you have to allocate CDBG funds once a year. Yes. Can you explain what those are? I know that there were some people in the audience that were not happy with where they the, the board decided they were going to go this year. You know, the CBDG is a community block grant development funds. Mm -hmm. They're allocated to us for, I want to say, two years <laughs> out. Yeah. And there are funds that we can take those money in our community and allocate them to. Mm -hmm. You can allocate some of those funds to organizations that provide food mm -hmm. as long as it's a 501c3, mm -hmm. it's a big number that mm -hmm. means a, ch a charitable organization, nonprofit, and I'll give you an example, fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. you can give it to that. There's also, you can do to the county a amount of money to uh, for home repairs mm -hmm. for seniors 
or people that are economically challenged mm -hmm. seniors uh, that mm -hmm. can improve their home for access, mm -hmm. safety, uh, windows, plain health, yeah. safety, mm -hmm. and welfare. Yeah. Uh, there's we allocated some funds to mobile home repair, mm -hmm. and we take those gifted funds to us and put those in the mobile home repair. Mm -hmm. Now we don't dole those funds out. The county, county does through their agencies. Mm -hmm. But we have a choice to tell you where we go. Mm -hmm. So to that, you have Haven that does a wonderful job with mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, disasters mm -hmm. in home yeah. lives. Mm -hmm. uh, we fund some of those sometimes. Mm -hmm. We have Fish. We have uh, the Oxford mobile home youth repair, yeah, Oxford yeah. Addison Youth. I think mm -hmm. we can give some of that. Yes, you can. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it's it's just it's yeah. not a lot of money. No. But in these days, you know, a lot of money you have to dole it out to where it will help the multitude, yeah. rather than just put a new roof a on old Jack's yeah. house. Yeah. We we right. put a we put a, a new furnace in in a, a yeah. home that's been there for a hundred years yeah. and Mr. Barnes or Mr. Jimmy might be uh, 85, 90 years yeah. old, less than $600 a month in mm -hmm. uh, Social Security and yeah. you know you don't want them freezing to death. Right. So He's still that's where they're doled citizens. out to. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Because well, people do take exception as to where those funds go. Listen, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a better idea. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I, I, I can't yeah. state it enough. I'm not doing this for me. Right. I'm doing this for the community. Mm -hmm. And I don't give it to the loudest, squeakiest grease or mm -hmm. wheel. I don't mm -hmm. grease the mm -hmm. loudest, squeakiest. We mm -hmm. take the facts and data and say, where did we put it last year? Yeah. Where do we need to put it next mm -hmm. year? What calls have we been getting? Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, at one time I know fish was almost out of food. Yeah. Well, how do you give nothing away? It's like, but you have some funds. Well, mm -hmm. that, that data showed us we had to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And anything I didn't ask you about? Any? Sure. We have a new sewer project. Oh, very yes, good. The sewer project is going to run from... Uh, along M24 oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. from Harriet Street where we yeah. stopped that 18 inch line during uh -huh. the M24 road construction. Yes. And each landowner on that property is paying through what's called a special assessment mm -hmm. district right. to put that sewer in. Very good. We closed on, we sold bonds. Uh, the bonds were sold and we close on the bonds and we get the money around we close on the bonds on February 15th. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So sometime around March 1st, you're going to see a lot of activity. Okay. Uh, Deponio Construction is going to be putting 7,200 feet of 18-inch uh, sanitary sewer line in. That, that sewer line is going to serve a community that has bad septics right now. North of town. Mm -hmm. We're serving future industrial product nice. or projects. Mm -hmm. The landowners are paying us for the sewer. Beautiful. We're putting it in. You'll have some development along the, along the M24 mm -hmm. corridor in zoned properties, mm -hmm. some industry. We've had some very, what I call high tech, quiet industries come here. Mm -hmm. Without a sanitary sewer, the property is valueless. I mean, mm -hmm. you just can't build what right. they want on the property because you have a septic field, <sighs> a parking lot, yeah. a well isolation zone, mm -hmm. a retention yeah. pond. And by the time you take two acres, you're down to a, a 5,000 square acre. foot building and you can't do anything in that. Yeah, right. So and we're working on- And then you have to on, have parking for that building besides, right? Exactly. Yeah. The biggest thing is we have uh, been awarded a couple of things. We're waiting for Congress to approve them. So when those funds get out there, We'll have a bigger secret out of the bag soon. We'll have another session, Moments with Jack. Yes, we will. Oh, very good. Yes, we will. Well, congratulations for everything that's happened in the last couple of months. And Thank you. We need to go through all this stuff to... on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be here for another month, right? <laughs> uh, no, it won't. I have a meeting right after this mm -hmm. uh, with the attorney to go over some Millage language for the sheriff. I have oh, wow. uh, on good. and on and on. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're just, uh, our township is growing. Yeah. 
We're over a billion dollars in uh, taxable assessed value. True cash value is well above that. It's many, it's a billion over that. So wow. the township is growing. Yeah, it is. We work in conjunction with the DDA, the chamber. I do personally for one reason. Our residents don't have another village. We have the village. Yeah. We have the DDA, mm -hmm. who has done a great job with their mm -hmm. soup, sweet Cute. straw, yeah. the, uh, their downtown witches' night, great. the mm -hmm. downtown mm -hmm. lighting, yeah. you know, uh, the great. the commerce parade. Mm -hmm. I mean, the things that go on mm -hmm. that the residents of this town appreciate. Mm -hmm. But we can't do more or enough mm -hmm. to help them do greater things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what we'd like to do. Just keep working together, right? Working together. I met with Kelly and Kimberly last week. I was going to be at the Chamber Mixer last night. Yeah, we had to cancel had to that, cancel darn that. it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I listened to um, industry that's coming. We have three that are in our township right now. And... Are, have been awarded uh, multi-million dollar long-term contracts. So, and how about Baron? Are we going to keep Baron? That's one of that's them. That's one of them. Good. That's one of them. Great. Yeah, yep. I know that They're he was They're investing at, over in front of the nine million dollars in a new facility, yeah. equipment, and bringing in within three years fifty jobs to Oxford. That's fabulous. And these aren't. These aren't just old school. No. This is all high-end mm -hmm. 3D printing for military, close tolerance stuff. Fabulous. So we're we're right working. up your alley too. I like it. I bet it's exciting. <laughs> it is. I like yeah. to see businesses grow, mm -hmm. businesses flourish, and I like to see people come here as residents in the zoned areas. Let's let's just mm -hmm. all be one. Have great amenities. We have great parks, great fire. Great policing services, great um, parks. I said parks. Yeah. Uh, downtown. See it again. <laughs> library. You know, I mean. Television station. Television station. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we got know, it we, we all fight for the core of Oxford, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are Agreed. many things we could change, but mm -hmm. I'm not throwing my hat in that fire. No. Uh, just keep on moving forward. Forward. Yep. Yes. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. We'll do this again. Thank you, Terry.